Hello everyone, Team here. I hope everybody's doing wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a card with a brand new stamp set that just arrived over at Paper Tray Inc. Today we're going to be using the Simply Snowman stamp set. Such a cute thing. This creates two snowmen. They're just adorable. And then there's some accent elements like you get some berries and some leaves and then also some snowflakes. So perfect for a wintry scene. We're going to go ahead and jump in and do a little bit of stamping. And then I do want to mention that there is a coordinating die set to go with the Simply Snowmen stamp set. We're going to go ahead and there's, there's a three snowball snowman <laughs> and then there's a two one we're just going to use the smaller two one we're going to make a landscape style card and this snowman is going to fit perfect on there so i mentioned that this is a layering stamp set but we're not going to use the first layer of our snowman we're going to use just the layer that looks like a wood grain which i think is super neat so let's go ahead and bring in our stamping positioner we're going to take our snowman and we also have our snowman arms and we'll take here we go we're going to snake take our snowman scarf and then also our snowman hat that we're going to be using i have all the colors that we're going to be using today um for our snowman i'm going to use our classic craft and for this let's zoom in a little bit classic craft is going to work perfect for our snowman for our snowman's hat i'm going to bring in Berry Sorbet. We'll stamp this. I love a corally color that this is. And I'm going to also stamp the scarf with that same ink. Wonderful. Okay. Now we have our snowman's arm. That's where dark chocolate's going to come in handy. We'll stamp those as well. Now for the rest of the layers, I'm going to use um, some stamping blocks. I just think it's going to be easier. I love that you can add texture with the second layer of these images. I'm going to take the cap or the, the hat. I'm going to take that woven layer number two for the cap using dark chocolate ink. We're going to go over our berry sorbet. How cute is this? Okay, and then I'll do the same thing with a second layer of our scarf. Wonderful. Now we're going to build our snowman. To do that, it's very easy. There's a there's two different happy faces in here. And I'm going to use the, the wider one. I'm going to stamp with my True Black ink. We'll stamp this on the first circle of the snowman. <laughs> it's so cute. I don't know what it is about snowmen, but they're just adorable. There is a two dot piece. These are for the snowman cheeks. For them, I'm going to bring in lovely lady ink. We'll ink up our rosy cheeks and we're going to stamp this right over the smile. <laughs> And then, of course, we need a carrot nose. That's where our orange zest comes in. And there's two different sizes of carrot noses. And I'm going to use the smallest one. Getting... We're going to stamp this 
so our nose is facing the left. So cute. We need some coal buttons. So let's take those. There's two sets of buttons. There is a two and a three. I'm going to take the two. Since we have a scarf, we can um, add the buttons just below where the scarf would be. And I think I'm going to use black for this. Wonderful. And our snowman is all done. Quick and easy. There is a die that will cut out the snowman nose, but I think we'll just stamp it. Okay, now in our stamp set also we have some berries. We're going to stamp these a few times with pure poppy ink. I'm separating them a bit because when we die cut it's just going to make it easier. And then there's some leaves. There's a small and a... There's two different sizes of leaves. We're going to stamp each of these. I'm going to use simply chartreuse. So we'll ink these up. I'm going to stamp each one three times. And we'll do the small one as well. Okay. There's also a second layer to these small leaves. And we are going to use our dark chocolate ink for those. I think dark chocolate is just going to stand out. Besides our sentiment, that is all the stamping that we're going to do today. I'm going to go ahead and take our coordinating dies and we're going to line them up and die cut out all of our our images. I like that the, the arms of the snowman are, are um, not connected to our snowman because this way you can make him playful or make him hold something. It's nice that they space it for you. Also, I love that. We have our scarf. And then even the leaves. We have everything die cut. Now we get to build a snowman. And I think this is the fun part. We are going to go ahead and take our scarf. I'm going to use some small foam squares. And we're going to layer our scarf on our snowman. I just think this is so cute. Now he looks nice and cozy. Next I'll take our hat and we're going to add one foam square to the head of our snowman and then we can add our hat. I think I want to tilt it just a little bit. Like so. We have our snowman arms. I'm going to use my tape runner and we're going to add adhesive to the left and to the right here. And then we can tack down our snowman. And you can put these snowman arms anywhere you'd like. And there's two different kinds. You can use two, the, two of the same. And our snowman is good to go. <laughs> He's so cute. Now I do want to add some leaves and berries to our snowman's hat, so I'm going to use glue. I'm just going to add a dot of glue here. That's the best thing about glue, you have a little bit of wiggle room. Oops, but isn't he so sweet? <laughs> okay, now we need a home for our snowman. We're going to do a little bit more die cutting and I'm going to bring in a die set from last month's release. I love this die set and I think it's versatile for so many scenes. This is the Bring Home the Holidays die set. I'm going to use one of the snowbanks in here. I'm going to use the largest snowbank. And then I'm also going to take a few of the houses. And I'm going to die cut these out. 
the snowbank we're going to die cut out with white cardstock. And then the houses, this is classic craft cardstock. While we're die cutting, I'm going to bring in a brand new die set. This is the Love to Layer Rectangles. Love this. And I like this because you can create a frame with it. So I'm going to take the, um, the two largest. I'm going to use some white cardstock. I'm going to layer them together so I can create a frame. And then I'm going to die cut out just the background one too. Now that we have these die cut, I'm going to go ahead and take some dark chocolate cardstock and then I'm going to add some dark chocolate behind each of my houses. Okay. I want to fit the houses on the snowbank, but I want it to be able to fit in my frame. So I'm going to lightly tack my houses behind my hill or my snowbank. Even though I think this house is going to be covered with our snowman, I think we're going to go ahead and just fill it in anyway. I put adhesive behind my frame and then we're going to tack down our frame to our hillside. And then the excess that's overhanging, I'm going to trim off. Now I'm going to stamp my sentiment. For today's card, I'm going to be using my dark chocolate ink and the sentiment that says, Merry Christmas to all. I think that's a pretty font. And that is so cute. I love this. I love scene building. I'm going to flip this panel around and just using my tape runner, I'm going to add adhesive all along the edge of the frame and the houses too. I'm going over the houses. And then I have a piece of aqua mist cardstock that will fit behind that window. I'm just going to tack this down right over the top of it. Now we can take our snowman. I put some foam circles behind our snowman already. I'm going to remove them and then we're going to add our snowman to the bottom of our card here. I just love them. <laughs> I don't know what it is about snowmen, but they just make me happy. Okay, now we have our extra holly leaves. Kind of looks like a, post a 3D postcard. <laughs> Okay, we have our leaves and our berries adhered. I'm going to flip this panel around and we're going to put some foam tape behind here. I'm going to bring a little bit of color to the back of my card base. So I trimmed down a panel of sweet blush cardstock. This is a four and a quarter inch by five and a half inch long um, panel. It's an A2 panel. And I'm going to adhere this to the front of my card base. Okay, now one more thing. I do like to add a little bit of texture to my cards, so I'm going to bring in some Baker's Twine here, and I'm going to thread it through the side of my card, and we'll just tie a bow up here at the top. Last but not least, I'm going to bring in some diamond stickles, and I'm going to go over the, the berries here, give them a little bit of sparkle. The, also the button on um, our snowman. So we add some to the stripes too. I'm going to add a little sparkle to the stripes on our snowman scarf. And then that will finish off our card today for Paper Tray Ink. The snowman is just adorable. And again, there's a, a taller snowman too, which is just as cute. The snowman stamp set is called Simply Snowman. And it's part of the brand new release over at the Paper Tray Ink Shop. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, I hope you head on over and um, take a look. I think you are going to um, be really inspired. 
Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for joining me, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.